The question that we will be asking ourselves throughout this presentation is, what are the effects of triacinyl amine on humans, our environment, and the economy? The substance of our controversial element project is triathlone amine. Triathlone amine is made up of six atoms of carbon, 15 atoms of hydrogen, one atom of nitrogen, and three atoms of oxygen. Carbon. Carbon is a gas that can come in forms of graphite or even diamonds. Fun fact, although carbon is found everywhere in nature, it's not as plentiful as it seems. Carbon only makes up for 0.025% of the Earth's crust, yet it is used to form more compounds than any other known element. Hydrogen is one of the most abundant elements in the known universe. Without it, we would not have many things, from the stars to the water we drink. Like hydrogen, nitrogen is also a colorless and odorless gas. It makes up for 78% of the air we breathe and is found in coal and other fossil fuels. It also comes in liquid form as liquid nitrogen, which is really cold and can be used to make vaping ice cream. And finally, we have oxygen, which is yet another colorless and odorless gas. It is the most important element to living organisms because it helps make up the air we breathe and the water we drink. It's also very flammable. Now let's talk about our compound altogether, triethanol amine. Triethanol amine can be used for industrial purposes as well as for cosmetics and pharmaceutical purposes. Triethanol amine is a mixture of ethylene oxide and ammonia, both known as highly toxic substances. It comes as an oily liquid with a slight odor of ammonia. It can also be found as a powder. At first, triethylone amine was used in a substance called triethylone amine salicylate. This substance was used to treat arthritis, muscle pains, and sprains. And because of its efficiency, people started to use triethylone amine in more and more products. Despite being made up of two highly toxic substances, it is approved by both the FDA and the CIR. But it is limited to only being 5% of a product that is made to come in direct contact with human skin. Fun fact! Triethanol amine is found in 40% of all cosmetic and personal care products on the market. Triethanol amine is used in a variety of different ways, which makes it such a good product for product producers. It is used to neutralize fatty acids, adjust and buffers pH levels, makes the cement and cosmetic product mixing process easier, and helps to convey scents and fragrances to cosmetic products. Triethanol amine can be found in a variety of different things, including liquid laundry detergents, dishwasher soaps, house cleaning products, shampoo and conditioners, printing inks, cosmetic products, metalworking fluids, and cements. From all the preliminary research stated above, we have came up with this hypothesis. Since triathlon amine is found in so many different products on the market, its effects are not harmful to humans or animals. Now let's answer our question starting with the effects on humans. Triethanol amine is proven to be a mild skin and eye irritant, whereas these effects worsen with the higher the concentration of the substance. There is also a considerable amount of evidence leading towards the fact that triethanol amine is an immune and respiratory system toxicant. As well as a full body allergen, further research included that even low amounts of triethanol amine can lead toward a high risk of organ damage. From the result of clinical animal trials, it was proven that triathlon amine affects the organs even at low doses. Tests that were done in vitro on mammalian cells even showed signs of mutation. Further experimentation proved that triathlon amine causes liver, bladder, and even testicular cancer to certain animals. The concentration of triathlon amine in the environment is not large, for triathlon amine is biodegradable and water soluble. But, according to the OECD 301 test for biodegradation, when triathlon amine enters the water, it will change the pH level. This will result in a toxic shock to the active species residing in the bodies of water. Triethanol amine has a positive effect on the economy. Without it, a lot of products we use today would not be the same. Because of the efficiency of triethanol amine, it would not be smart for companies to discard it. It is cheap to produce and easy to make, as well as the fact that it's cheaper than organic ingredients, extending the shelf life of the products. This in turn will save companies tons of money, benefiting the economy. After analyzing the pros and cons, we have came to the conclusion that our hypothesis was proven wrong. Further research proved that triathlon amine has negative effects on humans and animals, whereas it can cause cancers and even weakens the body. The only pros of triathlon amine are on the economy, whereas our substance is very beneficial because of its price and abilities.